Lloyd Banning's here. I'm sorry. I know you're busy. Can I borrow you for a minute? Uh, sure. We were just wrapping up our break, so it's no bother at all. Is it something urgent? Yes, there's a man who is personally requesting the aid of the SSS. <laughs> and this right here would be why we couldn't find Mr. Hayworth, because he has a request for us. He's a traitor by the name of Harold Hayworth. Oh, he's an acquaintance of ours. What happened? Ah, you see, his little boy wandered off while they were watching the parade together. Ah, got it. Thanks for the heads up. Where can we find Mr. Hayward? He's currently located at one of the benches near headquarters. I think it was by the water fountain. According to him, that was where he first lost sight of his son. Roger, we're heading there now. I'll let them know, thanks. What's the matter, Lloyd? Nah. We've got a request from Mr. Hayward. Apparently, his son went missing at some point during the parade. Oh no. Today's crowd is the largest yet. This is a serious issue. Ah, the classic missing kid at a festival mission. Yep, seems like it. He's waiting for us by the water fountain near headquarters. He'll give us more details there. Okay. Report. I got extra for something. What on earth could I have gotten extra from that? Weird. Maybe it's because I didn't die. Um... To the administrative district. Hold on, I'm really thirsty. I lied. I said I would buy or upgrade Tio's slot. So we're going to do that. Upgrade slots. This one. Okay. For mint quartz, take HP3. And then, what else was it that we got? We got Bewitch, that's right, and Hit 3. Okay, Hit 3. So let's go ahead and just improve that for Randy. It's expensive, but I don't really care. Go ahead and take hit three. Here you go. Does that give you access to more, like, space things? Dark matter. High pressure space attracts and crushes foes. That sounds fun. Okay. Well, he can do that now, I guess. Also, he has so much EP now. Okay. Moving along to the administrative district. It's on a bench by the fountain. Hi. You came. Oh, thank I, Dios. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Hayworth. If I heard correctly, you guys were watching the parade when you noticed your son had gone missing, right? That's right. I should have paid more attention. It's all my fault, and he's... Ah, uh, Colin. 
Sophia, please, we have to stay calm. I apologize, everyone. She's just worried. We lost sight of Colin roughly three hours ago. It happened when we were watching the parade pass through this district. Sophia noticed him almost immediately. We both searched around this area as hard as we could, but to no avail. Things being the way they are, we had no choice but to call the CPD. I think that was a smart move, Mr. Hayward. We should start searching immediately. Let's split up and each take a different district. Good idea. The rest of the force seems swamped, so it'll be up to us. Okay, we'll just have to decide how best to divide ourselves. That is the question. Well, however we split up, we can always keep in touch with our enigmas. Please, let me help as well. If I don't, who knows what might happen to- Sophia, it's going to be okay. I'm going to escort my wife home for the time being. We'll conduct a thorough search of the neighborhood once we've arrived. That would narrow down our list of places to search, thanks. Everyone else will split up and conduct our own searches in the other districts. Now, Mr. Hayward, do you have anything that might help us find him? A photo of him would work best. Oh, really? We actually had some taken during the festival. Hmm. I have them here somewhere. Harold pulled an envelope out of his coat pocket. Here we go. Colin's picture times three. Aw, how cute. For a little boy, he has quite a pretty face. My sweet boy. Come down, dear. Let's get out of the heat and wait for Colin to come home. Who knows, he might be waiting for us now. Harold, but what if... What if it's happened again? It won't. It won't happen again. I swear it. Uh, did they say again? I can only imagine what they must have been through before. Excuse me. The heat seems to have gotten to our heads. It's just... This is a lot to deal with. No, I completely understand. While you're here, do you have any of Colin's possessions on hand? Our police dog might be able to pick up his scent. Oh, of course. Would this work? It's a stuffed animal. Oh, it's a Mishi. Oh, a Mishi plush. We'll make sure to return it once he's found. Colin's plushy. Well, let's get a move on. As long as he's still in the city, he should be relatively safe. Leave it to us, Haywards. Yes, of course. We can't thank you enough for your help. Hmm. My controller battery is low. Now, how do we want to do this? Oh, but before that, allow me. She summoned a dog. Zait, mind giving us a hand? What a good boy. You may rest assured, now that I've arrived, following this small child's scent will be as simple as taking an afternoon nap, or so he says. Uh, thanks, Zaid. Actually, how did he already know the details of the case? Who knows? Guess we can just chalk that up to another one of this crazy wolf's perks. Whatever the case, let's get back on topic. In a city as large as this, how should we divide ourselves up? I will accompany Zite, obviously. As I am the only person who can understand him, that would be for the best. Fair enough. I'll leave the Mishi with you then. Once Zite finds the trail, follow it as far as you can. Roger. The rest of us will split up and search the different districts. I'll take care of the Entertainment District, Back Alley, Central Square, Station Street, and West Street. Brandy, you're in charge of East Street and the Downtown District. And Ellie, you can check out the Administrative and Harbor Districts. Sound good to you guys? Uh, yes, but doesn't that give you a lot of ground to cover? 
While the administrative and harbor districts are both large and have a lot of traffic right now, the downtown district too, to an extent. My areas will be pretty easy to make my way through. I think it's a fair distribution of work. It makes sense when you put it that way. Alrighty, let's find ourselves a kid. We can use our enigmas to update each other on our progress as we go. Sound like a plan? Yep. If we are in agreement, then let us commence the search for Colin Hayworth. Okay, to find a child. Let's see. So, I'm responsible for investigating the Entertainment District, Back Alley, Central Square, Station Street, and West Street. I have no idea where this kid could be, so I'll just have to search every location from top to bottom. As for buildings, I'll just speak with the receptionists, otherwise this is going to take forever. Says you, I'm going to fully explore the buildings. Okay, let's start with here. Well, you hardly see this place this empty. The afternoon show must have already ended. Lloyd, is that you? Hmm? Is something going on again? Oh, Elia and Rixia. Did you come to hang out with your favorite gals again? We still have some time before the evening show. Want to join us for tea? Sorry, no can do, unfortunately. I'm here on some work-related business. You see, Lloyd explained to Elia and Rixia that he is searching for a lost boy. Oh no, that's terrible. Well, it's definitely true that the kitties love to come watch our shows. There's a chance one might have snuck in during a performance. Mind holding on for a minute, Lloyd. I'll check with the folks on break to see if they noticed anyone. Oh, wait. I don't need you to go that far for me. Once Elia has her mind set on something, there's no stopping her. I'll help her take a look around, too. Please wait here just a moment, Lloyd. Well, doesn't look like he's hiding around the theater right now. I'm sorry. I wish we could be more helpful. It's okay. I appreciate the help regardless. I should be apologizing for bothering you. Don't sweat it, Lloyd. I'll be sure to notify the troop leader and the manager about the child. Should we contact the police in the event we do find him? Yeah, that would be perfect. Thanks again, you two. Good luck with your evening performance. Same with your search, my favorite little guy. You're always welcome here, Lloyd. A few of the spectators told me how phenomenal it was. Okay, you don't have anything to say about my lost child. You don't have anything to say about my lost child. Let's go into Hotel Millennium. Talk. Yeah, this person might know something about Colin. Lloyd showed Colin's picture and asked if she knew anything about his disappearance. Aw, such a cutie. My apologies, but I don't recall him coming to our lobby before. That's unfortunate. Thank you for your cooperation, though. Okay, let's go to the side that had Kilika in it. Maybe she will have some insight. Oh, she's not here anymore. And this person might be able to give us some info about Colin. A missing child? My, that's concerning. Let me think. I apologize, but I can't say for certain if I've seen him or not. There were simply too many people passing by outside for me to remember anyone in particular. That's unfortunate. Thank you for your cooperation, though. Tilika was in here a second ago, and she's already gone. Okay, can't talk to you. I'll just talk to everyone. On the off chance that someone has some unexpected news. If I talk to every single person, it'll be impossible to have missed something, no? Hi.
Is that all the rooms up here? Yeah? Okay. Okay, that is it for Argon CL. I talked to you people. I talked to you people. Hi. Hmm, this woman might know something about Colin. Lloyd showed the picture. Wait, what's this about? You want to give me this photo or something? Uh, no. Like I was trying to explain, we're looking for the boy in this photo. Have you seen him around here recently? Sorry, I can't say he's ringing any bells. Besides, it's impossible to keep track of these festival crowds. People disappeared after the parade just as quickly as they'd appeared. I understand. Well, thank you for your time. Hi. Y'all don't have anything to say? Okay. My ear hurts. Hello, lady. You don't have anything to say? This guy looks like trouble, but he might just know something about Colin. A missing kid, huh? No idea, pal. I only take note of any potential patrons. Besides, you think I'm going to remember a small kid with all the commotion from the parade? You make a fair point. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, I heard you guys managed to catch those danged thieves. I'm going to show you my appreciation then. Here, take this with you. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's very kind of you. Thank you. That's the least I can do. Esteemed officers, go on and eat. Okay. I'm looking for a missing child, though, so, like, you know. It's a shot in the dark, but we'll try. Hmm, sorry, hun, but I've never seen this boy before. I doubt I would have noticed him if he walked past me with all those people around. Gotcha. Thank you for your cooperation. Still going inside to ask them, though. I hope he didn't wander into the casino, but I'll ask anyway. Ah, uh, he's gone missing? I don't think he came by here. I definitely notice a little boy trying to sneak into a place like this. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you for cooperating. Play poker. No. I just want to talk to everyone. No. Talk. I hope you had a great time. I didn't because you weren't helpful. Hi. Hi. Now I want to talk to this guy. Uh, this city's a lot more congested thanks to the festival. In fact, I find myself a bit worried about children getting lost in all the crowds. Well, actually, we're in the middle of searching for one right now. Uh, oh, really? My apologies. I cannot recall seeing any children on the second floor. As for the first floor, I'd advise you to ask Cherry for more details. If Cherry hasn't seen the missing child, then odds are he hasn't set foot in here. Okay. I already did. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe because I had that combo with him, she'll have something else to say? No. Okay, that should be it for the entertainment district. Get out of my way. Um... I guess I don't have that district. I need to gather more witness testimonies about Colin. I want to speak with anyone. I like, have I not spoken to everyone? I'm pretty positive I spoke to everyone. Did I not? Quit being a weirdo, Dad. Can't we do anything without you breaking into some? Grease monkey, blah, blah, blah. Did 
dude. Oh, does he have something else? Oh, he does have something else to say. The first chat was about getting a pizza. This is, okay, I understand now. This man might know some details regarding Colin. A missing kid? Actually, I think I've seen this kid somewhere before. Really? Maybe I was forced to pack up my stand before the parade passed by, so I was in a huge rush trying to get that taken care of. Sorry, my memory is a bit foggy after all that scrambling around confident that he hasn't passed by in the last hour at least the crowd's been gone for about that long i see that's good to know thank you for your time all right i think we investigated the entertainment district thoroughly enough to the back alley okay okay that's my bad i should have tried to interact with him again after i asked him or spoke to him about the pizza Wait here Yo, Randy here. I made the rounds in East Street. No clues about the kiddo's location, not even from the guild's receptionist. Alright, understood. I didn't have any luck in the entertainment district either. Let's continue the search for now. Aye aye, sir. Hi. Huh. Not a dang clue. Don't think I saw the kid. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, we already spoke to you. Talk. I doubt they'd let a child into a bar, but he might know of Colin's whereabouts. A lost kid? Sorry, I haven't seen him. This is a bar, after all. We don't let kids run around in here. Makes sense. Thanks for your cooperation. Hmm, let me think about it. I think I probably saw a couple of kids run by. Really? Did any of them resemble the child in this photo? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I'm not really good at using my hand, my head, rather. I just don't remember much, you know? My brain's all hazy. I just can't remember. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you for your cooperation. So she saw some kids, but she doesn't know if one of them was the kid I'm looking for. Yeah, we already spoke to you. It's possible that Imelda might know something. This boy? I'm afraid I don't recognize him. At the very least, I can tell you he's never set foot in this shop. This is hardly the kind of place for children, as I'm sure you are. I see. Well, thank you for your help. Let's try asking around Central Square next. I didn't go down this alleyway, though. Wait a second. I can walk around here now? Hmm. Interesting. But still no idea how to get to that treasure chest. Well, at least it seems like Colin couldn't have come this way. What a relief. Okay. Central Square. <laughs> Long time no see. Is that Renee? Huh? Oh, it's you? Good day, detective. I think she said Oni-san, which should be a more formal way of saying older brother. Interesting that they changed it to detective for the English version. Uh, it's been about two months since we last met, hasn't it? Right, you're the girl from the doll studio. Long time no see. It was Renee, right? You should really mind your manners. A lady's name isn't something you just casually forget. It's your duty as a gentleman to greet me as if we had just met yesterday. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. So, what are you doing in Crossbell City? Are you all by yourself? Did you get lost or something? Of course not, silly. As if I could get lost. I like to visit the antique shop here from time to time. Oh, really? But isn't it dangerous for a child to wander around this part of town? 
Oh, you're a funny one. What could possibly be dangerous here? That Mr. and Miss at the club are very kind to me. Even those men wearing sunglasses in the back alley are super amusing. You're joking, right? More importantly, I came to enjoy the festivities today. That parade earlier was particularly lovely. Were you able to watch it? I'm afraid not. I had to take care of some work, so I missed it. I'm worried about leaving her alone. She's mature for her age, but she's still a young girl. I'd take her back to the studio if I wasn't in the middle of an investigation. By the way, detective, what are you doing all alone? Are you playing another game of hide-and-seek with someone? Not quite. I'm looking for a missing child, actually. He supposedly disappeared during the parade and has yet to return home. Oh, I see. Do you have a photo? I might know him. That's a good idea. Would you like to take a look? Oh. What's wrong? Do you know him? No. Renee has never known this child. Oh, I see. However, he's quite a cute little boy, isn't he? You said you're looking for him, detective? Yeah, my team split up to cover more ground. I'd like to get him back to his parents ASAP, but we haven't had any luck finding him yet. If that's the case, then I'll grant you a bit of my expertise. I told you before, didn't I? I'm quite skilled at hide-and-seek. I'm sure it wouldn't be much effort to locate one naughty little boy. Uh, yeah, but... Well, I was anxious about leaving her alone. I guess she can accompany me for now. If anything happens, I can always have her wait for me at the SSS building. Alright, I'll be counting on you, Renee. You can assist me in my investigation for a little bit. Very well. I'll do everything I can to help, Lloyd. Thanks, I appreciate it.